Please join me with Gasho. Within the Nembutsu and Shinjin, the pure life of the Buddha endlessly flows into our lives of defiled passions. And little by little, bit by bit, our lives, which are just like the utter darkness of hell, are transformed into the pure, brilliant life of the Pure Land. Namo Amidabasu. Namo Amidabasu. Namo Amidabasu. Morning, everyone. I'd like to begin today's February Shotsuki Hoyo service for Monterey and Salinas with the chanting of the Sambujo, followed by the Hyobyakumon, and then the Sambutsuge and the Jusege.
deepest reverence and thankfulness for the all-embracing wisdom and compassion of Amida, we reaffirm the three homages. I go to the Buddha for guidance. I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namu Kiya Buts, Namu Kiya Ho, Namu Kiya So, Nam Mandavus, Nam Mandavus, Nam Oh, 
Please join me in Gasho with a threefold refuge. Artists to be born into human life, now we are living it. Difficult is it to hear the teachings of the Blessed One, now we hear it. If we do not realize the truth in this life, when will it be realized? Let us, with, let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. <clears throat> I take refuge in the Buddha. May we, together with all sentient beings, awaken to the great way of enlightenment and to the unsurpassed intent of Amida Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. May we, together with all sentient beings, enter the storehouse of the Dharma, becoming like the wisdom ocean. I take refuge in the Sangha. May we, together with all sentient beings, become units in true accord, in harmony with all things. The peerless, profound, and wondrous Dharma is rare to encounter, even in many hundreds and thousands of kalpas. Now we are privileged to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of the Tathagata's teaching. Sankiyemo, Ninjin no Kegatashi, Ima Sude ni Yuku, Bukpo Kikikatashi, Ima Sude ni Kikiku, Kono Mikonjo ni Mukate, Dose Zumba. Sarani Isure no Shoni Mukataka Konomi O Dosen Daishu Moro Tomo ni Shishini Sambo ni Kieshi Tate Matsuru Beshi Mizukara Butsuni Kieshi Tate Matsuru Masani Negawa Kua Shijoto Tomoni Daido O Taige Ste Mjoto San Mizukara Honi Kieshi Tate Matsuru Masani nega waku wa shujo to tomo ni kaku kyozo ni irite chie umi no gotoku nuran mizukara so ni kieshi tate matsuru masani nega waku wa shujo to tomo ni daishu wo tori shite isai muge nuran mujo jinjin mimyo no ho wa yaku sen mango ni mo au koto katashi well, once again, good morning everyone and thank you for attending today's February Shotsuki Hoyo for both Monterey and Salinas. As you know, during the service, we scroll all the names of family members friends, neighbors, in both uh, Monterey and Salinas who passed away in the month of February. You know, prior to the service, as I prepare for the service, I put all the names on a list uh, so that we can scroll them across the screen during the sutra chanting. And some of the names are unfamiliar to me, some are familiar, very familiar to me, and some are, you know, the last names I know of families who are still residing in Monterey or in Salinas. At both temples, I see these names scrolling by of current members, of current families. And I know that for all of you who live in those areas, many of these names are very, very familiar with, with you. And when I see those names, or when we hear those names, we immediately remember those people remember their lives and how they were part of our lives. As an example, on this list today is a good friend of mine, uh, Doug Iwamoto. Uh, many of you know him, grew up in Salinas, was uh, a very devoted member of the Salinas Buddhist Temple. And, but what you might not know is that Doug and I have been friends since high school. 
since our days in the YBA. So when I hear his name or I see his name on that list as I put it in there and as I watch it scroll by, <clears throat> I remember our days in the YBA. I remember visiting his home, meeting his parents, his sisters. And I think of him on the farm. And I think of his children, Stacy and Scotty. And I see Doug's face and I hear his voice. You know, it's, it's, I tell Jane, every time we drive into the Salinas Valley, I think about Doug. In the same way, when you see your family name on this scroll, whether it's your brother, your mother, your father, your sister, or a friend, it will bring back memories of them. And you will be able to visualize them. And it's just a name going across the screen, but it has a powerful effect on us. So it has a power, it has a function. When we think about our mothers, for example, when we say the word mom or mama or mukasa, when we say that word, it immediately conjures up visions and memories of our mothers. We can see her face, we can hear her voice, and you will remember the things she said, you will remember the foods that she cooked, you will remember the things that she wore. There's so much about our mothers that we will remember. And it's just a word, but it has a powerful function behind it. You know, this service is sponsored by the temples. It's an observance in memory of all of our past members and the families of our current members. So it is our responsibility to acknowledge our indebtedness to all our past members, whether or not they still have families living in Salinas or Monterey. Because whether or not their families still live here, or whether or not they attend the services in their memory, we are still benefiting from them and their support and their patronage. So today I'd briefly like to talk about, you know, we talked about names scrolling across the screen. There is a name that we, some of us have, some of us will receive. It's called a homeo or a dharma name. Traditionally, everybody should receive a homeo while they're still living. Ideally, we should visit Honzan or when the Monshu is here, we should receive that Buddhist name. But this is not always possible. So a homeo is presented at the funeral service. But even though a homeo is received earlier, it is still a common practice and it's okay to receive a new homeo, a new Buddhist name at the funeral service. Both are okay. The reason being is that there's a difference between the homeo that we receive while we're still living and the one that we receive when we die. The homeo is made up of three Chinese characters. The first one is Shaka, Shaku, Shaku. Shaku is the family name of Shakyamuni Buddha. And when we receive that name, we then become part of the Shakya clan, the family of the Buddha. And then there are two characters. For example, my Buddhist name is Ho Se. Ho meaning Dharma and Se meaning vow. Okay. My teacher gave me this homeo and when I looked at it, I thought, oh, you know, sounds like Jose. I didn't know if I liked it or not. But my teacher gave it to me, and so I couldn't say, no, I don't like it, it's thank you very much. And when I received it, I thought, this is wrong. You know, the Dharma vow, that's not me. That doesn't describe me. And I thought the homeo was supposed to describe me. You know, at a funeral, the homeo is given to the deceased or even the same one is used if you received one already. But the meaning changes at the funeral service. For example, right now, say is a goal for me, a vow. If that name stays with me at my funeral service, it still doesn't describe me when I die. But it does describe how my life 
continues to influence and take effect upon my family, my friends, my sangha. There are many deceased with characters for kindness, for compassion, for other things like this. It does not describe the deceased as being kind and compassionate, but it is a reminder for us that their life, it continues to influence and to take effect upon my life, your life. Kindness and compassion arises through their name. This is why it is not necessarily a common practice to take a person's everyday name and work it into a home meal, although sometimes we do that. It is also why it is common that a new home meal can be given or is given at the funeral service. Again, because it is a reminder of how that person's life continues to influence, continues to take effect upon all of our lives. This is exemplified by the way a home meal is given. It begins with shaku, and then the two characters. Until recently, this home meal was followed by shin shi or shin nyo. Now this has changed recently, and we don't see that so much anymore. Uh, about Shinnan's time, and a bit after that, the character futaiten was used. Futaiten implied that the deceased is in a state of non-retrogression that there is no falling back into samsara, but the, the deceased has reached the pure land. We will never forget their thoughts, their words, and their actions, and they will always influence our hearts and our minds. Irregardless, the homyo in our Jodo Shinshu tradition is a powerful reminder of the infinite and boundless wisdom and compassion of Amida Buddha and the continuing influence that our loved ones have upon our lives. So if you do have a home meal, please take a look at it. If your family member who has passed away, they have home meals, take a look at it. It has meaning, it has significance for you. So uh, again, thank you very much for listening. Thank you for joining. And now if you'll all join me in the Gatha Ondoksan 2. <laughs> compassionate one so shine within our hearts and minds that the mists of error and foolish vanity of self be dispelled so shall we understand the changing changing nature of existence and reach spiritual peace namo amidavas namo amidavas namo amidavas Thank you very much everyone for attending today and joining us for the combined Monterey and Salinas Shotsky Hoyo service. I'd like to make a couple of announcements today before we close. Uh, the National Buddhist Churches of America uh, Eitaikyo Memorial Service will be held next week at 10 o'clock and you can view that service on the BCA or Buddhist Churches of America YouTube website. So please join all of us nationally for that very important service next week at 10 o'clock. Some of you in Watsonville are playing bingo with us, and so I want to read today's, uh, this week's bingo numbers. First number is B2, B2. Second number, G48, G48. Third number, I-29, I-29. The fourth number, N-37, 
N37. And the fifth and last number for the week, G46. G46. If you do get bingo, please contact the Watsonville Buddhist Temple office. And because next week we are going to have the National Eitaikyo service, there will be no reading of bingo numbers next week. Everyone, please take care, be safe, don't forget to social distance, wear your masks, wash your hands regularly and often, and please be well. Thank you very much. Please join me in Gashon. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Namo Amida Wits. Thank you very much.